Snakes are everywhere. When you're in nature, you're never too far from one. You could hike right by them and never even know that they're there. They're not there to try and get you. They have a job to do, and their job is to help keep nature in check. We got a call from a lady, and she said that she had seen snakes on her property. Sebastian goes with me on most of the removals. His role in this particular one is to be eyes. He's to help me look. Yeah, all through that. We got there. I looked at this place, and I'm like, oh, Lord, and there ain't no way I'm finding a snake in this. From talking to her on the phone and the description that she gave, we knew she had some copperheads. Copperheads are extremely good at blending into their environment. Copperheads, they look like leaf litter. If you're walking by and you're not looking for them really hard, you will not see them. Now this right here is a copperhead. Look at how beautifully marked this thing is. And even moving, look how well he blends in. They're absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous animals. And they do so well at camouflage. These guys blend in phenomenally in their environment. It makes it easier to get them when you're not looking for so much the color as much as the shape of the animal itself. There's many species of venomous snakes, but they all fall into a category. You have colubrids, you have elapids, and you have the viper species. I have a venomous sign minder that I've rather wear on a So this is the Gaboon Viper, and this is the largest species of viper on the planet. Full grown, their fangs can get up to two inches long. What we're going to do is we're going to try and see if we can get this little fella to open his mouth and get a look just at this juvenile. See how long that fang is? Just for this juvenile. See how he's independently working those fangs to try and stab. They use them as a stabbing motion and not a biting motion. And as you can see right there on that probe, all that venom. And these are a very deadly species. They're awesome animals. The viper species, all of your viper species other than one, which is the Mojave rattlesnake, uh, have a hemotoxic venom. Essentially what that does is it causes you to bleed. Most of the time, whenever we get a scratch or if we bump something, something like that, you know, we'll bleed and uh, it'll scab over. With these guys, essentially what happens, their venom does not allow the blood to clot. So you bleed till you bleed to death. Yes. Now this is one of our beautiful monocle cobras. She's relatively mild toxin as far as the levels of toxicity goes in cobras. Cobra venom is neurotoxic. It causes the shutdown of the nervous system, also nerve endings. It shuts the systems down and it's almost like a paralyzer, it paralyzes you and just essentially causes you to go to sleep. See, these animals just don't jump out and try and kill us. You can see what he's doing. These guys aren't so interested in being violent. <laughs> Well, anyways, with these guys being pit vipers, right here and right here are the pits. This is where they get the term pit viper from. It's basically like infrared, built-in infrared. So even if he was blind, could not see, he could still make out every one of our silhouettes just by our body heat. He could also make out the body heat of a mouse. These are amazing, amazing animals. All right, <laughs> beautiful animals. All right, so this is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, and what we're trying to show here is just some real fun facts about their strike pattern, their strike range, how they strike, how their bodies move. And the rattle is the warning. It's the early warning system to let you know that that rattlesnake is near. This S pattern that he's getting into is his defensive striking. When he's in this S position, it won't be long if you continue to irritate him. He's gonna come out teeth first. He's rattling, telling us to back off, or he's gonna strike. Wow, did you see how fast that was? Did you see the mouth open and the switch blades come out with the fangs? These things are amazing. When you talk about venomous reptiles, most people think about snakes. But snakes aren't the only venomous reptiles on the planet. 
This deadly little beauty is a Gila monster. They don't inject their venom like a snake would. They will bite down, hold on, and pump it in from the gum line. There are many types of venomous reptiles. All are beautiful, including copperheads, but you don't always want copperheads in your backyard. What kind of snakes are those that are, they look like black snakes and they've got a band around their neck, a red band around their neck, and that's all? Ring snake. Ring snake, right. Good job, Sebastian. It was the most perfect habitat for snakes I had ever seen. Sebastian, do me a favor, kiddo. Come here. Walk right up through here. Careful. Look right up under there. Don't get your face under too close just yet. see yeah, under here. We looked under sheds and under litter and under all kinds of things. Everything's so freaking earth tone. Good gracious, I can't see nothing. This place was a haven for snakes. Right about the time we were fixing to call off the search, we actually found two copperheads. Oh, there is two. Sebastian. There's here. two of them. Here. I need uh give me that. Usually when we go out and do a snake removal, we don't find the animals. And at this particular place, we shouldn't have found them, as many places as there were for them to hide. There we go. Now, go in there before we lose you. <laughs> this property was an insane jungle. Hard to find these animals, but we found them, and we got them. Come on, babies. Another successful save. I love my job. What? There you go. Yeah, you ain't that tired, boy. We still got a lot of work to do. I'm going home and I'm taking a nap. <laughs>